I hope you all have understood previous exercise of this chapter. Today, I am going to explain exercise 2.6. In this exercise, we have to use that method that I have already explained in my previous class, that is, balancing method and transposing method. The method. First question, that is, 8x minus 3 divided by 3x is equals to 2. As we know, if there is no digit in denominator, so we assume as 1. So, in RHS, we don't have any digit in denominator, so we'll assume it as 1, that is 2 upon 1. So, we solve this question after using cross multiplication method. After cross multiplication, we will get 8x minus 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2 multiplied by 3x. We know that a into 1 is equal to a. So 8x minus 3 1 into 1 is equal to 8x minus 3 and 2 into 3x is equal to 6x. Now we need to separate variables and constant. For this we need to transpose 6x to LHS and 3 to RHS. After transposing we will get 8x minus 6x is equal to 3. As we know after transposing the sign will get changed so plus 6x is converted into minus 6x and minus 3 is converted into plus 3. Now we need to solve. After solving we will get 8x minus 6x is equal to 2x is equal to 3. Now we will transpose 2 to RHS. After transposing we will get x is equal to 3 upon 2. Now let's continue second question. In second question we have 9x upon 7 minus 6x is equal to 15. For solving this question we again use cross multiplication method. After cross multiplication we will get 9x into 1 is equal to 9x and 15 multiplied by 7 minus 6x. As we know 7 minus 6x is in bracket so we need to multiply 15 by these both terms 7 and 6x. After multiplication we will get 9x is equal to 15 multiplied by 7 plus minus minus and 15 multiplied by 6x. 9x is equal to 15 multiplied by 7 is equal to 105 and 15 multiplied by 6x is equal to 90x. Now we need to separate variables and constant. For this we need to transpose 90x to LHS. 9x plus 90x is equal to 105. After solving, we will get 99x is equal to 105. Now, we need to transpose 99x to RHS and we will get x is equal to 105 divided by 99. Now, it is not in simplest form. So, we need to reduce it. These two terms are divided by 3. So, after division, we will get 3 3 is a 9, 3 5 is a 15, 3 3 is a 9 and 3 3 is a 9. Now, it is in simplest form. So our answer will be 35 divided by 33. Now let's continue third question that is z divided by z plus 15 is equals to 4 upon 9. Firstly, we will do the cross multiplication. After cross multiplication, we will get 9 multiplied by z is equal to 4 multiplied by z plus 15. Here, 9 into z is equal to 9z and now we again do the multiplication 4 by both these two terms. 4 into z plus 4 into 15. Here, 9 into z equals to 9z, 4 into z equals to 4z plus 4 into 15 is equal to 60. Now we need to transpose 4z to LHS. After transposing we will get 9z minus 4z that is equals to 60. 9z minus 4z is equals to 5z is equals to 60. Now we will transpose 5 to RHS. After transposing we will get z is equals to 60 upon 5. It is not in simplest form so we need to reduce it. 5 is a 5. And 5 1 is a 5, 5 12 is a 16. So z is equals to 12.
नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दैट इज थ्री बाई प्लस फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू माइनस सिक्स बाई इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू अपॉन फाइव इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल स्टार्ट बाय यूजिंग क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन मेथड आफ्टर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन वी विल गेट थ्री बाई प्लस फोर मल्टीप्लाई बाय फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू माइनस सिक्स फाइव आफ्टर मल्टीप्लिकेशन वी विल गेट थ्री बाई इंटू फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टीन बाई एंड फोर इंटू फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी नाउ माइनस टू इंटू टू इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर एंड माइनस टू इंटू माइनस सिक्स एज वी नो इन इंटीजर्स माइनस माइनस प्लस सो माइनस माइनस इज कन्वर्टेड इंटू प्लस साइन एंड टू इंटू सिक्स इज ट्वेल्व बाई नाउ वी नीड टू सेपरेट वेरिएबल्स एंड कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर दिस वी नीड टू ट्रांसपोज ट्वेल्व बाई टू एल एच एस एंड ट्वेंटी टू आर एच एस आफ्टर ट्रांसपोजिंग वी विल गेट फिफ्टीन बाई माइनस ट्वेल्व बाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर माइनस ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन बाय माइनस ट्वेल्व बाय इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री बाय हेयर माइनस माइनस प्लस सो फोर प्लस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फोर बट ट्वेंटी इज ग्रेटर एंड इट इज हैविंग नेगेटिव साइन सो वी नीड टू यूज माइनस साइन नाउ वी नीड टू ट्रांसपोज थ्री टू आर एच एस आफ्टर ट्रांसपोजिंग वी विल गेट माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर अपॉन थ्री दैट इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव बट नॉट इट इज नॉट इन द सिम्पलेस्ट फॉर्म सो आफ्टर रिड्यूजिंग वी विल गेट वाई इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस एट चिल्ड्रन नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दैट इज सेवन वाई प्लस फोर डिवाइडेड बाई वाई प्लस टू इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर अपॉन थ्री इट इज सिमिलर टू अवर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन सो आई एम गिविंग यू एज ए होमवर्क Try to solve. Answer of this question is minus four upon five. Now let's understand question number six. The ages of Harry and Harry are in the ratio five ratio seven. Four years from now, the ratio of their ages will be three ratio four. Find their present ages. In this question, we have given the ratio of their ages. Firstly, we will convert their ages in the simplest form by taking a common ratio that is x. So we will write let the ages of hari and hari b 5x and 7x according to question 4 years from now that means after 4 years after 4 years age of hari will become 5x plus 4 it will be increased by 4 and age of hari Is equals to seven x plus four. It will also increased by four. Now, according to question, we have given the ratio of their ages after four years. So we will write these two terms in the ratio form. And that is equals to three upon four. Now we will do the cross multiplication. After cross multiplication. We will get five x plus four multiplied by four is equals to seven x plus four multiplied by three. Now we will solve the bracket. Five x multiplied by four is equals to twenty x plus four multiplied by four plus sixteen is equals to seven x multiplied by three twenty one x plus four multiplied by three is equals to twelve. Now we will separate the variables and constant. For this, we will transpose twenty one x to L H S and sixteen to R H S. After transposing, we will get twenty x minus twenty one x, twelve minus sixteen. Now we will get twenty one minus twenty that is x, but twenty one is greater and it is having negative sign, so we will use negative sign here. And twelve minus sixteen is four. And sixteen is greater, and it is having negative sign, so we will use negative sign here. Now negative sign will be cut down. 
then we will get x is equals to 4 this is the value of x but we have to find the ratio of their we have to convert the ratio of their ages in their original form hence age of hurry is equals to 5x that is 5 multiplied by 4 is equals to 20 years age of Harry that is equals to 7x now we put the value of x then we will get 7 into 4 that is equals to 28 years it's our answer now let's understand question number 7 the denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8 if the numerator is increased by 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1 the number obtained is 3 upon 2 find the rational number according to question that new denominator is based on the condition of numerator so firstly we will add the numerator let the numerator be x now denominator is equals to according to question denominator is greater than its numerator by 8 so it will become x plus 8 according to question in question I have given if numerator is increased by 17 we have numerator is equals to x now it is increased by 17 so it will become x plus 17 and the denominator is decreased by 1 we have the denominator is x plus 8 and after decreasing by 1 it will become x plus 8 minus 1 that is equals to 3 upon 2 after solving we will get x plus 17 divided by x plus 8 minus 1 7 is equals to 3 upon 2 now we will do the cross multiplication after cross multiplication we will get 2 multiply x plus 17 is equals to 3 multiply x plus 7 now we will solve these two brackets 2 multiply x is equals to 2x 2 into 17 is equals to 34 is equals to 3 into x 3x and 3 into 7 is 21 now we need to separate variables and constant for this we need to transpose 3x to LHS and 34 to RHS. 2x minus 3x is equals to x and here 3 is greater and it is having negative sign. So we need to use negative sign here. 21 minus 34 is 13. Here 34 is greater and it is having negative sign. So we will use here negative sign. Now both negative signs will cancel x is equals to 13 now numerator is equals to x after putting the value of x the value of numerator is 13 and denominator is equals to x plus 8 after the putting after putting the value of x we will get 13 plus 8 that is equals to 21 hence rational number equals to 13 upon 21 children I hope you must have understood this exercise well after this exercise our chapter is completed thank you